Hey everyone, we're going to pause from plays Alice Legacy. This is a follow-up to Alice Awakening, which I played on the channel a little while back uh, when it first came out. This is from Elden Pixels. We're kind enough to give me a code to play it for all of you. And uh, yeah, if you, if you like what you see immediately, I would perhaps recommend picking it up for yourself to play along. And uh, yeah, so I, we're going to get started with this. And I will probably... Be like every other day as this is starting for the sake of letting people catch up and uh, finishing out what I'm doing. I'm also, interestingly enough, going to play with one of the assist mode settings, uh, show items on map. We'll see if that becomes a little too easy and then I'll turn it off, but I'm terrible at mapping. So having this as an accessibility option, I really, really like. And uh, if there's any sort of audio feedback or anything, feel free to let me know. But we're going to start a new adventure. So. The end of Alois Awakening saw so us kind of transitioning a bit, and I think this is kind of picking up where that left off. Maybe style-wise. It is a action-adventure, puzzle platformer, Metroidvania style. Did not realize we actually had control of this lady at first. I wonder if I could have gone down the ladder. I can't go back up. That could have been pretty interesting, actually. Beautiful art style. Ah, sorry. I take it you have come for the book. Yes, she's about to wake up and want her to have it as soon as she's here. Can't say I fully comprehend its contents, but it doubtless offers a way out. What the legend says. Time around, let's just hope she makes the right choices. Send Mary to go find her. Should you need me? I'll be in Clemming's old chamber. Hmm. Seems like chapter one here. Rebirth. Yeah, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Hey lady, wake up. What are you doing here in the water? Did you come in a ship? Ship? I don't think so. Where am I? You're in the land of Alwa. Where else would you be? Last thing I remember was a big chamber with an altar and a bright light coming down from above. That doesn't make any sense. You must be really seasick or something. Anyway, I promised Saga I'd get you to the Grand Library as soon as I found you. Saga sounds familiar. Do I know her? How should I know? I was told to look for a stranger with a purple cape into the water and bring her to the library. It's just up the hill from here. Saga said it was important, so hurry up. Also, for some reason, there's a lot of monsters roaming about. I had to sneak past a whole bunch of them on my way here. You'd better use your staff if you get into trouble. Hmm, what is this? Can't do anything with it yet. Alright, let's check our controls here. There will be our map. Menus are really, really slick. I really like this. So our staff's our primary attack. Can break boxes. Smack skeletons. Can't get that orb though. Ooh, there are fireballs as well. Yeah, this is all very familiar. Dropped here, huh? We can push these green blocks. Oh my. It's the vicar. Persistent in returning to the lands of Alamar, or not? I must admit that I misjudged your skills during our confrontation at the Altar of Echoes. This time, however, your endeavor is pointless. Have we met before? Is this some kind of trickery? Nevertheless, I will not take any chances. Oh, that was my staff.
I'm gonna need that. If we survive. Alright, well here we are. Let's see if we can find our staff again. Hmm, there's one of those tiers perhaps. Of course, we can jump on these bubbles. I don't know if we can swim. I think it went over this way, right? Oh boy. Or did it? It is very dark down here. I don't know if I'm really supposed to be here yet. We can explore here. Nothing's stopping me. Yet. And if I'm not supposed to be here, oh no, there it is. There's the staff. Right, let's get that. Ooh, we can't go up that way though. Um, can we crawl? No, we can duck. Oh, that's... That is devious and mean. Hmm. So how do we get there? Can we go that way? Yeah, we can. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of, little bit of puzzle solving. So if we go up here, and then jump over there, nice. So with our trusty staff in hand, we can now defend ourselves. Open a few passageways. What if I could have just making a leap of faith over this way? Oh, this is actually not, uh, not quite what I thought. Ooh. Yikes. Oh boy. I've potentially gotten myself in quite some danger here. Now there's probably some magic or something that'll let us light the way. Um, and does it fill? We don't have a map yet, it seems. So let's head back for now. Out of this deep, dark area. Especially because we should be able to kind of make our way out now. I'm gonna just I can we swim? Oh, we sink, actually. Oh, we do have a breath meter. We jump quite high underwater. Oh dear. Yeah, so we got we kinda got soniced there. Death count one. All right, well, our deathless run isn't happening. So where can we head now Do we have this? Will there be more bubbles here? Yeah. Uh, we might be able to go back over to that can't go down there. Back over that bridge. Hmm. An empty house. Very mysterious. Maybe if we rescue someone, they'll be here. We got an orb. Oh, you know what? There was a... Yeah, what is this? Can't do anything with that yet. That orb... 
Oh, orbs to place. There's 99 of them. So we can't interact with these blocks with our staff just yet, but I think we'll be getting that magic at some point. There were three kind of main magic spells in the original, if I recall. And I imagine we'll be using similar magic in this one to solve some puzzles. We can make that jump, yeah. Now there is a tombstone up here. Huh. Can't read it though. Ooh, nasty enemy. Can we drop a block on him? I think we actually just have to defeat him. Got him. Alright, that was another orb too. Now I wonder, is he still active? That's concerning. I wonder if the orbs are consumable, or if they're just 99, period. Oh man, look at that background, though. Uh, so we made it to Westwood. Hi there. Alts, I mean, hello? What's up, Gurf? Seem a little on edge. It's just one first elevator guard. The official decree was changed recently, and that's supposed to let anyone to the castle garden unless they have Saga's permission and a proper map. Sounds like hard work. Oh, wait, by the way. I'm Gersh, but people call me Dragon Fist. Yeah, they don't really call you that, do they? We need to talk to Saga, and we need to get a map, which we don't have quite yet. Jump over to this person? Almost. We can come up this way at least to talk to them. You're scaring the fish. I've been trying for days to catch something, but all I've gotten is this snarly temper. Yesterday, as the morning light hit the water, I could swear I saw something big shimmer down there. Hmm. Hey, there's another orb. Now we're not gonna be able to jump up there. Nice to see a fresh face around here. I'm Beth, your lo friendly local blacksmith. In fact, the only local blacksmith. Let me guess, you have an old family heirloom of an axe just begging for a sharpening? No axe, no sharpening. You ever need some skills to smith your egg with the tools and the talents? Know my way around wrought iron, tin, bullions, you name it. Keep that in mind. Can we? Oh, we can jump down. It's just thank you, helpful tutorial. Hey there, lads. Welcome to the town of Westwood. May not be that big, but it's our little corner of the world. Just arrived, did you? I've been here before. At least it feels like it. Can't remember it, can you? Eh, it's not that memorable for outsiders, then. We town folk love it all the same. I'll tell you what, I'll give you this map and be able to bring out some good memories. Took the liberty of marking down where you've already been. Appreciate it. There's our map. Boy, that does show items everywhere. I actually kind of like that. I think I will probably keep that on. Um, again, for someone like me where mapping is not my strong suit, that is very, very nice. Because it certainly doesn't tell me how to get the items. It just tells me where I can perhaps find them. 
Oh, save point added to warp list. Interesting. So some of these will be warpable. Got another orb. What's in here? Gemstones three, where could they be? You all right? Gather them with glee and then come back to me. I see. All right. Now we can also go up here. Um, in fact, we can probably go over there as well. You found your way to town. Find any monsters? Are you an adventure? You kind of look like one. Hmm, we can't get through those barriers yet. Now, what is this area? Grand Library. Hmm, can't break those. Oh, there she is. Welcome to the Grand Library, where the knowledge of Hollow has been gathered for ages. Are you Saga? Some kid, or that kid, said that you wanted to talk to me. I'm so happy that Mary found you before something bad happened. Just barely. I ran to some mage with creepy eyes. It wasn't making any sense before I knew he knocked my staff right out of my hand. I must have passed out, and when I woke up, he was gone. I was afraid of this. His name is Vicar, and he's the only thing standing in your way of returning home. No computation is necessary. You must do everything you can to avoid him. Necessary? Trust me, I'd be happy to never see him again. Home? Yes, need to get back home. Why can't I remember? Everything's just a blur. It will get clear. Trust me. And please, accept this book. It will be of great guidance. The book of Terra Incognita shapes the past, present, and future of Owl. Every time you defeat a demon, a new page gets added to your book. Pages are all blank. You'll soon see that this story writes itself as you go along your adventure. Three magical gemstones are spread across Owl. They hold significant information that will help you regain your memory and return home. That's what I need to do. Where do I start? Admire your valor. Your first honor take going to defeat the demon of Rose Castle. Don't worry, I'll mark it down for you. Ah, we can use the elevator. Reach the castle gardens and follow the map. Hey, there we go. Oh, interesting. So we can get a percentage on secrets and all that as well by scrolling through here. Pretty nice. There's the book. Can we actually see the book? Yeah. Be careful out there. I'll try. Also, you be careful too. You got skeletons in your library. She wear that. Let's see if we can at least head back to the elevator here. Song said it was okay and you have a map, I suppose I can let you go up to the Castle Gardens. Enjoy the ride. Alright. Thanks, man. Like your uh like your outfit there. There's an orb up there. Who are you? Jean Baptiste? Oh, what a splendid day to be alive! Can you feel it too? Of course you can. You want to make it even better? Why, petals, obviously, and simply adore them. You the gardener? Do I look like a chef? Of course I'm the gardener. I'll tell you what, if you should find a whole lot of petals, bring them here and I'll reward you handsomely. Hmm. 
When I say a lot, I mean at least four. Go find more petals. Alright. Just curious what is up here. See if we can get to like one more checkpoint here. Ominous looking area. Oh! Hey, there's our first magic, I think. One of the gemstones. Durable like precious jade. And press B to materialize solid magical blocks. But we need enough magic to do so. So with this, we can now create our own blocks that we can push around. Tricky fellow there. So I don't know what the tears are for. But yeah, so with this, we can now create our own platforms. Um, but we can't create many. In fact, I think we can only create one at a time. Yeah. So we can't quite get up there. Oh! That little guy. I was gonna say, is there gonna be another one there? We can also break the blocks we make if need be. This will be one of the ways that we'll try to solve puzzles and the like. I don't see any of these drop any petals though. Oh, that one gave us a heart. It's nice. I was gonna say, I bet that guy's gonna come to life here. I was gonna see if I could jump over that. Fortunately, I did drop a heart. Oh, I like that statue. It's really cool. Are you? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say you look like you're gonna come to life. All right, we've only got one health here. I wanna be a little careful. A little concerned with that guy now. Should be able to jump up to this ladder? Yeah, I'm hoping to find a save point up here. Soon. Make sure we can make this jump. I think that's a good place to pause. Hopefully this gives you a good look at Alma's legacy. Like I said, I'll be continuing the series and looking forward to playing through the whole game. And if you're interested, you can check out the link below to pick it up for yourself and play along. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like. Helps a lot. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.